Capricorn, welcome to June. This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome. This video is going to be a monthly telescope for June for Capricorn. And I'm going to just shuffle the cards here a little bit. Um, some of you may notice that I'm using a different deck this month. I'm using the Rider Waite, which I haven't used um, in the past two years. I've always used the Morgan Greer which I also really love. This one has a little bit more of a storybook, illustrative quality to it. It's got really vibrant colors. I love this deck. But for some reason for June, I'm just feeling the right weight. So um, I'm just going with it. If you guys want, you know, if you have a preference on different decks, feel free to give me that feedback in the comments. Or if you'd like me to switch back to the Morgan Greer, I'm just going with what feels right for the readings this month. So let's see what's coming up for Capricorn for June 2017. Okay, first card right out of the gate is Death in Reverse. Um, that usually means transformation of some kind, and it may mean that you're resisting it, um, or there's doubt, fear, or resistance regarding that transformation. Let's see what else is coming up. We've got Queen of Wands in reverse. We've got Six of Swords in reverse. Uh, Ace of Wands in reverse. And Seven of Wands uh, in the upright position. For week one, we have Two of Swords in reverse. Uh, we have Six of Wands for week two. For week three is Eight of Swords in reverse. And then for week four, I have Queen of Swords. So what I'm noticing, first of all, with this is that there's a lot of gray and blue. And that means managing the difference between things just being even keeled. Sometimes that can show up as things being peaceful. On the low side, it can mean like things are stagnant or just boring, like things are stuck. I'm getting the sense that you're trying to use your mind to alleviate this stasis, whatever that means. Like some, there's kind of with this gray, a lot of this gray stuff, it feels like things are just dead or just in homeostasis, like nothing. It almost just feels like cement, if that makes sense. That's what I'm getting off of this gray and with the death card. But there's new fire energy coming in. This is Ace of Wands, this is new beginning, new fire, new energy, new vitality. New passion. I'm going to talk more about this card when I get to it, but it's not through your mind, Capricorn, that change is going to happen. It's through action. And there's some good stuff here. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands. There's really good stuff here, but it's fire energy. Keep that in mind as we go through the reading for this month. It's not mind energy. It's not mental swords energy. You can't solve this with your mind necessarily. You have to solve it with actions. So thinking about something isn't going to take you forward. It's actual fire energy, um, action, activity, you know, the crackling of um, passion, enthusiasm, all of that that will take you forward out of the gray. It's not mind energy. The gray and the blue exist together. You can see that in the horizon here. Like the blue, the blue is mental thought, um, which can give you clarity. You know, you can have clear thought when this happens, but the gray is still there. It's still stagnant. It's still dead. It's still cement. So what I'm going to say is really important for you in June, just to seeing what I'm seeing, is that to change things up, you're going to need to take action. Um, Capricorn, you're going to need to bring fire energy in. So wear red clothes, get around fire energy signs. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Be around people who have that fiery, per if you can think of someone who's always in motion, that's usually fire energy. So be around that kind of people. Um, even just get pictures of things that bring more fire in, like pictures of the sun. Go around like a crackling bonfire at night. It's, it's what you need for June is to bring more fire energy in. So I'm going to talk more about that coming up. Um, the death card, some people fear this card, and I'm going to encourage you not to fear it. It is central to 
your um, reading for June, and it can mean just feeling dead. For sometimes, this, for some people, sometimes this can mean like feeling depressed. Um, it usually is a card of transformation. Usually death means that a cycle has ended, the, the last petal has fallen off the rose, and then we collect the seeds to bring new life, the next chapter. So it's really the portal, and sometimes it can be like the pause between the old cycle and the new cycle beginning. It's like that, that lull. I think of it as too like intermission between like when the symphony plays a song and then they take that time out just to be silent before the next song plays. So don't fear death. Let it be that transformational in-between time. And it doesn't have to be like that things just stay forever stagnant. It can be the pause that helps define between this chapter and this chapter. So look at it as just like the note that is not being played between this song and this song. And again, it's, it's action that's gonna help bring you out of this. So if you're feeling gray, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling like cement, if you're feeling heavy or that there's no action, let it be known that you're just, you know, you're cycling between this old thing and it's something's transforming you if you allow it in because with, with it in reverse, there's doubt, fear, or resistance. So this may mean you're afraid of transforming into what you need to to go forward and i'm also seeing that echoed by this ace of wands in reverse this is the new life the new seed that needs to be planted for the new thing to grow i especially am seeing it here with death preceding it you know here's here's where the rose dies here's where the new rose is planted so if you're resisting both of these saying i don't want to change i don't want to transform i don't want the new life i just want to stay here stagnant i just want time to stop <laughs> that can be what death in reverse is about um but time doesn't stop so i'm just saying capricorn this is what i'm getting from this you know if, if things feel gray if things feel heavy if things feel like like planted in one place it's Death in reverse is saying, you know, embrace the change, embrace the transformation, become, in some ways, become someone new. There's like a life that came before that is not, time marches on and death spares no one. So in some ways, the past is the past. Let it be in the past. Like, don't allow the past also to control your, your present moment. That's part of what uh, I'll say this card is about two is don't don't let the past weigh you down. I'm really getting that for some of you. Um, what's in the shadow position is this is usually something that we don't see or something that's below our consciousness, something that we don't have access to. And this is Queen of Wands. So this is usually a fire sign. Um, and this is so Leo. Aries or Sag, and this is someone who is confident, someone who's radiant, she's usually sassy, she's pretty attractive, she like knows how to crack a joke, she doesn't take herself too seriously, but she uses fire energy to get things done, and she's got a really like sunny, optimistic personality. So for some of you, I'm getting that, that this is the part of yourself that you're not able to access this month, or this feels like it's below the surface, it's out of your reach. You don't feel your, like your sunny, vibrant, radiant self, or you don't feel like you can be that or access that. There's a disbelief that this is possible. Um, so I'm going to say, again, employ more fire energy. That's going to connect you with Queen of Wands. That's going to make you feel more empowered, more capable, more like ready, ready to take action, more like just like being in your groove, being radiant, being, you know, go get around some Leos, get around some Aries, get around some Sagittarians. They will light you up because potentially this could be someone who is a fire sign that you're a bit jealous of or that's you're at odds with right now because they're in the reverse position they're in the shadow she's wearing this you know even yellow colored robe which usually has to do with optimism and enthusiasm you're like no that's not how things are right now i don't see things in terms of like yellow sunny that i get a sense of seriousness for june which i'm gonna invite you cap to invite more fire in i'm sorry i keep repeating this but 
more fire energy is really going to serve you this month. And that means taking action, being enthusiastic, being passionate, being active, being like, you know, fiery, bold, daring, all of that. Um, go for it. Cause it, you might have a hard time accessing that right now, but what's, what's passing away is the six of swords in reverse. So this is a card of feeling like um, you're in recovery, feeling like you're healing. Um, this is usually a card that has to do with taking yourself from a rough patch of water to smoother horizons, to different um, lands. For some of you, it may mean that you're coming back from a trip because this card in literal formation means um, travel, means going to new places. So for some of you with this passing away and in reverse, it means like the trip is over, you're returning home. Um, and for some of you, it means that the healing and the recovery is over. It means that it's time to move forward. I get the sense that some of you may be recovering from an illness. That's because that's part of the theme of this card. It means traveling to new places, recovery, illness. So some of you may have been like kind of inert for a while. And that's part of what this death has to do with is letting that go. This is new life coming in. Aces are always new beginnings. And Ace of Wands means new fire, new vitality. It's the same image as the person who's out in front of the parade who's throwing the baton in the air. And it's also the person in a race who's holding on to the baton. They're the active element. They're the one who's running. Like of all the runners in the race, they're the one with the baton. They're going for it. They're running ahead. And this usually means out in front of the crowd too. So like leading the parade, you know, leading the others. So I'm going, all of these are in reverse though. So it's kind of saying there may be some doubt, fear, or resistance towards acknowledging being healed, being recovered, being back in the game. And there may be, it may be saying like, you have to let go. You, there's no more life left in that old thing. You might have to let it go. The old story, the old lifestyle, the old way of being, the old um, habits, you're, you have to let in new life. And I'm not, I'm seeing a little doubt, fear, or resistance in letting that in. So whatever that is, Capricorn, that you need to address to let in the new, the new fire, the new life, this feels very quiet and very um, like things are on pause. Recovery and then the letting go, the transformation of, of death. And this is like, here's new life. What is it that is, what is it, what is it that's fearful, doubtful, or resistant about this stuff? Because they're all, if you'll notice, they're all gray. Why, is there any way that you want to remain in cement or remain in the gray? I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there, Cappy, but there's something, I'm going to say embrace the transformation. You're healed and recovered. You're, you're back from the trip that you went on. Um, and this ace is like, it's ready, it's sitting waiting for you. It's like being handed to you. Take the baton. Take it. Go on a new trip. Go lead the new parade. Be the runner. Um, there's some fear, doubt, or resistance that you need to clear to do that. But what's good is highlighted for you is that, and I see this, this might be the answer to that, is that you may be afraid of struggle. You may be afraid of failure. Interesting. This card, if you can see, he's taken up that one baton. He's got the one baton and everyone else is below him. So what I usually define this card as it's success despite adversity. It means, this card means standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in, going after something. And it's either that he's leading all these other people, you know, in the charge and the fight saying, let's go, let's go storm the castle, whatever it is, or he's fighting them off. But he is in a position of advantage either way. He's fighting from above. They're, they're operating from below. So he's either leading the charge or he's fighting them off. But this is a card of success despite adversity, depending upon your convictions. And you've also got the card of success right here. Six of wands. This means success, victory. This is showing up for you in week two. So if you're having in week one any deliberations, any indecision, that's what this card is about. 
Um, this card is about staying in one place, becoming stagnant, checking out, because it's sort of like saying, I don't know whether to go left or to go right, therefore I'm just gonna remain blindfolded and just sit here. <laughs> I'm, I'm just checking out, I'm not gonna decide. I'm gonna avoid this. So if you're feeling this in week one, where you're like, I don't know whether to go left or right, I don't know whether to go up or down, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, the way out of this is action. Just like, that's really what I'm getting from this reading, is you need to take action. So if you're, if you're stuck in week one, take action. The way out of this is to choose either sword, put the other one down, pull off that blindfold and walk ahead. You can change your mind later. If you choose the, you know, what appears to later be the wrong one, change your mind. You know, just don't, don't sit there to not make a decision because that's just gonna keep you stuck in this gray funk. Um, I sometimes will call this card stasis on the way to stagnancy. So take action. It's really, you're gonna have success by week two for taking action. This is again a fire card. Um, success, victory, recognition. This means people see you for who they are. You're riding the horse. It means being capable, being seen as the one who saves the day. So don't just sit in the shadows. Don't, don't allow indecision to overcome you so that you just remain rigid and fixed and stuck in that cement. Allow this action and decision and fire energy to be like, no, here I am. I've got the baton. I'm running with it. Like that's what wants to come in. And by the way, what comes with that, you'll see what surrounds the baton is success, victory. It's the victory laurels. So Capricorn, give yourself, you, you like to achieve things. You like to have that recognition of having accomplished something. So don't don't stymie yourself or don't sabotage yourself by not taking action. It's, it's like it's here and ready for you. Week two is going to be a nice time for you if, if you do take that action and if you're willing to be the person who gets the recognition and willing to ride in to town on that horse. And it's like, I've arrived. I'm here. I'm doing it. Um, week three, again, I'm going to say, look at all these swords energy. I'm gonna say this is, swords energy represents air element, which is thought, it's the mental element. It's thoughts, ideas, beliefs, um, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, that's all swords energy. So in week three, the, you may give in to victim mentality, um, or you may, sometimes this card, Eight of Swords, has to do with feeling powerless. And usually what this means is that your thoughts are disempowering you. In this card, I always point out that there's no one else there. It's just her. And she feels powerless. She feels captive. I'm going to say, interesting that it's echoing this. You know, both of these figures are blindfolded. They're not seeing clearly. This one is having a hard time making a decision between two swords. This one is entrapped in her own thoughts. So when I see this card, I always point out that her path is clear. She can walk right away. There's nothing enclosing her. It's her thoughts that are keeping her stuck and keeping her fixed. It's these beliefs that are making her believe that she's captive, that she's powerless, that she's a victim. So sometimes this card is called victim mentality. And I'm going to encourage you to just walk away from those thoughts. She can, she can cut these binds on any of these swords pull that blindfold off and walk away. It's her beliefs that make her stuck there, that make her think, oh, I'm, I'm being held captive. There's no one there holding her captive. She's holding herself captive by her thoughts. So in week three, if you're feeling disempowered, if you're feeling powerless or victim mentality, walk away. Walk away from that way of thinking. It's not serving you, you know? Cut yourself free, cut yourself loose. Um, because you can do that, Capricorn. And, you know, you may want to rely on the expertise of someone who's a good counselor. This is Queen of Swords. She's showing up in week four for you. So what I'm going to say is, if in week three you're experiencing any of this, like defeatist attitude, or, you know, I was on the horse, but I fell off of it. I feel, I'm feeling sorry for myself. I'm feeling like that. Go find an air sign. You know, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, 
this is Queen of Swords, and she like tells it like it is. She'll be straight with you, and she'll give you good advice. Queen of Swords is usually very fair. She knows what she's talking about. She's knowledgeable. She has great insights. She, she really is, the sword is the truth, and she's really connected with the truth. So she'll be honest with you. So if you know of someone who's like a good counselor, a lawyer, a, um, you know, someone who's in a position of authority or expertise in the area that you're feeling disenfranchised about, she'll tell you, she'll tell you the truth and she'll tell it like it is. So if you have a friend who's a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or like I said, a professional, usually queen is, is, is a level of mastery, um, or a level of expertise where she can, she can really help you connect with the truth and know what to do. She's very clear headed and she speaks her mind and she can be blunt. She can be direct. So she, she looked to her to be a beneficial person um, in setting you free from this. She doesn't mess around with this. She's like, no, this is the truth. I know it's the truth. I'm in this clear day. I, I see blue skies. I know what's correct. It's not, I don't hang out in the gray here. I'm not depressed. I see things clearly. So let her help you. If you're experiencing any of this week three, Cappy, you know, let her, let her guide the way because she really sees things clearly. She'll really be honest. She's got good advice. She'll be equitable and fair and truthful. She can be blunt. She can be sharp. She can be like, you know, telling you like it is. But that might be what you need in week three. So listen to her. Um, remember that these are the, look at the ones with the clear, the clear light of day. You know, seven of wands, standing up for yourself, taking action, listening to people who are honest and true and, and are knowledgeable and insightful. You know, uh, believe in your own success. Believe in your own ability to have that victory. I actually think this was right side up. Um, and don't, don't, don't get wrapped up in your thoughts, Capricorn. That's going to be the biggest struggle and that's going to blind you. So I'm going to say take action in June. Don't, don't get wrapped up in your thoughts. Don't become disempowered or don't let indecision overtake you. Um, just take action. Just go for it. You know, Ace of Wands is, is being handed to you by the universe. It's saying, let's go. Here's a new beginning, new life, new vitality. Today is the first day of the rest of your life, sometimes is what this card will say. So embrace it. You know, you have success despite adversity is featured for you for, Ju for June. So use fire energy. I'm going to say again, wear red. Be confident. Embrace fire. Anything red, orange, yellow, it's going to help you. Take action. Be around fire signs. Get enthusiastic. Get passionate. You know, don't break out of whatever this gray is and allow the transformation to happen. That's really going to serve you in June, Capricorn. So that's my reading for you for June. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with another Capricorn. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to put that down in the comments. And as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. Yours in the stars.